Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to the ScareCorp Media Channel. Today I'll be doing a walk around on my 2004 Volkswagen Jetta TDI. So this is um, a silver metallic model. It's a 5 passenger, 4 door, 1.9 liter turbo diesel, 100 horsepower at 4000 RPM. 177 foot-pounds of torque at 1800 RPM. This is a five-speed automatic uh, with a sports shift. Um, it gets about approximately 50 uh, MPGs. It's a 55 liter tank. The weight's about 1350 kilograms. It's got uh, child uh, security doors and uh, it's a four forward uh, wheel drive. Alright, so uh, just a quick uh, look around. Alright, let's take a look at the side. I believe these are 16 inch wheels. Take a look at the back. All right, so there's the side. Let's take a look under the hood. So like I said, 1.9 uh, liter turbo. I've also added the famous frost heater. Uh, so what that does, it's like a pump for your coolant. Uh, you plug it in and just like you would uh, uh, any other car overnight. And what it does, it pumps the coolant through, through the engine and keeps it warm. So when you start it, after about 3 to five hours of it being plugged in, you start it, um, you automatically get hot air coming out of the vents. Um, it's a must in Canada. Um, I love it. It's, uh, it works wonders. So I have a plug here that comes up to, um, uh, to a bit of a splitter here that goes to the, um, the pump in there. And then also, the splitter goes inside the cab. I'll show you later for uh, uh, internal heater as well. Okay, so just a quick pan here of what the inside looks like. I wasn't gonna do this, but I'm just gonna quickly show you what this looks like underneath. And everybody's curious. All right, and this just pops back in just like that. Okay, and there's that splitter I got going inside. All right, let's take a look inside. Notice my Das Auto decal on the front. Haven't seen one like that anywhere yet. Okay. Here's what the inside looks like. All right. Let's close the door. Okay, so we have um, power doors, power mirrors, uh, locks for the doors, um, power, um, yeah, this is the the power uh, side mirrors. I didn't. I meant uh, power windows, not mirrors here. Sorry. And down here you have a trunk opener, ga uh, gas tank opener, and a lock for both. So this comes with two keys. Uh, one's like a regular key for um, for driving, and then you also get one with um, 
kind of like a valet key then you can just lock that with the other key and then they can't go in the trunk or anything like that uh, okay so here let's look at the dash okay so we got uh, a speedometer uh, mile reading time um, uh, cruise control and brake we got gas, here we go, and temperature, and then we got uh, clock, reset the clock here, or you reset the speedometer, um, there, okay, here we have ESP, so it's kind of like traction control, um, you know what that is, you know what that is, and we also got heat seaters, um, seat heaters <laughs> sorry uh, so you can turn them on here so I removed the uh, the large deck that comes with it it was a cassette slash CD I think and I just put a one smaller one um, and then now I have a bit of a compartment here and uh, this is kind of what the heat system looks like let's turn that off AC recycled and then just your regular stuff uh, up here, I have uh, the uh, moonroof uh, controls with the lights. Uh, yep, sunroof here. And uh, what else do I want to show you? And also for this guy, I've, I've uh, managed to uh, um, basically uh, do a power power on and off switch here for the radio. Just like that. All right. Okay. Now uh, I have an inverter here that just plugs into AC that uh, charges up my phone here. I've also have uh, on this deck. I don't have auxiliary out, so I had to uh, go from. 3.5 millimeter to RCA in the back and then that gives me my auxiliary uh, down here I have uh, internal um, a little uh, heat heater uh, that that gets plugged into here with that red cord that I was showing you earlier that goes to the bay that goes so when I plug in my front of my car that it heats up my pump also gives me AC here so when I'm plugged in at work or at home I, I have uh, heat uh, coming inside here back is not too bad so there's the back uh, a little bit dirty here but it's kind of what that looks like let's take a look uh, what the trunk looks like so I hit uh, this guy here and there's the trunk I keep a little bit of diesel fuel with me at all times some tools um, extension cords and whatnot it's pretty big Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, it's pretty big. Fold down seats, so it's not too bad. Lots of uh, space there. Alright, uh, if you guys want to see anything else, um, I might take this thing for a spin one time and just uh, show you a little bit how this thing drives. It's uh, it's pretty slick. Uh, it's a daily commuter. I put in, I put 100 kilometers a day on it. Um, it's, it's awesome. Um, for fuel and and everything like that it's pretty cheap and and this thing's rock solid nothing ever goes wrong with it um, I put on almost 70,000 kilometers on it um, and uh, yeah didn't have to do anything not even change tires brakes nothing like it's pretty it's pretty sweet all right if you want to comment down below if you want to see anything please do so also uh, if you like this video, please uh, hit the like uh, uh, down below. And uh, if you, also, if you want to see a walk around for that guy, the Pacifica, uh, check uh, my other videos. You'll see walk around for that as well. About a 10-minute uh, video. It's uh, it's pretty good. All right. We'll catch you later. Bye now.